Just a quick update before the video starts. I was hoping to get Return of the Jedi, the 4K still book in on this video. Unfortunately, it hasn't arrived yet. I did hold out a day, hence why the video has been uploaded on a Tuesday instead of a Monday, but it still hasn't come and I wanted to put something up. So this is a rundown of a nice new still book I got that my wife bought me for my birthday, which I'm really happy with and I wanted to share with everybody else. My internal core temperature right now due to this heat is about 143,000 degrees, so please forgive my appearance as I am slowly melting into oblivion. Um, I'm hoping that Return of the Jedi does land at some point this week. The second it does, whatever day that is, I will upload a video and get it unboxed so we can see it. Thank you everyone for watching the Empire Strikes Back 1. has had some incredible views so far. Thank you everybody for watching and supporting, liking the video and subscribing to me. Enjoy the video. This is the case. The case itself is stunning. This blue, this blue effect has been set. I remember the original collector's edition of the movies and it was in a green, it was, it was the same layout, same imagery, but it was green and it was in a cardboard sleeve with individual plastic cases. The steelbook version have gone down the route of having this blue hue, much like the sort of blue colouring that you see in the Aliens movie in particular. Absolutely beautiful. We've got sort of like this space here with some stars in the background where the title sits. And then from bottom to top, we've got sort of like a, like a timeline of xenomorphs. So we start off with the uh, space jockey, the engineer. We move on to the egg facehugger, xenomorph, the deacon from Prometheus, the newborn from Resurrection, another xenomorph, and then of course the big mama, the alien queen at the top. So it's sort of like an evolutionary sort of line up there. Really nice images chosen. Very straightforward. Good pictures and there's the effect now, and I have one of these two, maybe the Covenant Xenomorph, but it just highlights every aspect of the movies, like a life cycle, which is obviously something that's really important to the aliens, having that life cycle, and it's sort of like a, a timeline of how they exist. Spine, pretty straightforward, nice story background behind the title, and then on the back, We've got like some lens flare, which looks like there's, there should be a sun somewhere around here. Stars and sort of galaxy looking artwork there. And then this blackness before you get to the solitary egg. One egg on its own. Iconic. The 40th anniversary uh, alien. The steelbook and the collector's edition had the egg. Just a soul egg with a green glow coming out of the top effective now this is where people start complaining inside the case as you can see all six discs are on two of these spindles or whatever you call them you've got three discs on each side i'm not a massive fan of that i think that i don't like stacking discs on top of each other Especially multiple discs, you know, two sometimes, okay, you can winch your way through it. There's three on each side here. Discs. If I take the discs out. Let's get all three out in one hit there. So we can have a look at the inside of the case. That's what you get. So as you can see, it is the, the set or the scene from the bridge of the engineer ship in Prometheus. Got like an engineer stasis pod there and another one there and looks like the beginning of one there. Yeah, it's a great set. Nice set picture. And that's it. And then when we look at the discs, so on Alien, title and side profile of the big chap. Aliens, again with the title and a Xenomorph Warrior. Now you notice they've also gone with sort of like the marketing and colour themes you get per movie. So the Alien movie, if we go back to that disc, had a very sort of green effect to it. 
minimalist and then aliens went had this big blue effect bigger title sort of more out right there awesome and then alien 3 goes for that brownie sort of green color with the dog alien on the side of his mouth popping out again sticking true to the color theme that they went with on alien 3 moving over oh something i need to mention is the fact that this is actually german I think that's why it was, the price was so quick because so I'm going to talk you through how much this cost. Alien Resurrection with the ready brown colour setup. Prometheus, which is just utterly forgettable, it's just the ship um, landing with some German writing. And then Covenant, which is a lot of the poster art that you got when the film came out. It was a straightforward text and then. Obviously, the inkling that everyone got everyone excited that there were xenomorphs in this movie. So, yeah, so this, the wife bought me this for my birthday from Amazon. I think she paid about £40 for it. Now, this, when it was released on Zavi, was £69.99. That feels high. It sold out. It sold out, so people paid it. Unless it was on offer, and we've just got the RRP now on the website. But sixty nine ninety nine. Hmm. I think the jury is not out on this. I don't know whether or not sixty nine ninety nine is worth it. It's part of the Alien franchise. Again, much like the Star Wars and others, that makes it more collectible. It's got a very strong, established fan base. And getting the opportunity to own all six movies in one collection, like you do in this case, is great. I've watched the first three so far. Really enjoyed seeing them on, on Blu-ray. But another problem is that with the six movies, you're getting very, very basic special features i keep harping on about the fact that the new re-releases and the new steel books we're getting and whatever you have new features new content stuff that i keep saying you get get your safe stuck into but this doesn't have that this has got the very basic special features so like a bit of audio commentary and some deleted scenes the one plus it has got so far is what i've understood is alien comes with the director's cut as well with the famous dallas um strapped up to the wall scene aliens has obviously got the director's cut which is realistically the actual proper version of aliens alien 3 has also got the director's cut edition which was uh, which is where the change of story from the the, uh, the main alien not coming from a dog it comes from an ox instead uh, but it sort of didn't really fit with the narrative they were saying that the aliens were had some sort of genetic or they were carrying down traits from whatever species they were born from onto themselves. And the reason the Xenomorph in the third movie was so fast and so rapid was because he came from a dog. He ran on all fours, he, all that kind of stuff. So they, they, they removed that. But again, really interesting to watch if you're a fan of the film. So the content you get isn't huge. It's enough to satisfy fans but having when we've looked at some of the other editions and the amount of extra content you get with those movies the case is obviously the collectible part you know but those contents the co people buy these still books generally because they love the films and the step into the universe again of, of whatever franchise or movie it is that you're watching and seeing new footage new interviews the cast 30 years on and all stuff like that is a big selling point and there's not really a lot included in this it was released in 2018 and it was 69.99 one thing i've just not if you look at the case it has got like a machine if that makes any sense whatsoever it's a matte it's got like a hot the blue's almost holographic depending on the way the light shines on it the case is absolutely stunning. But yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm on the fence about the about the discs and the way it was stored. Maybe if we had like the flat trays 
for the discs it w would be a bit different but I'm supremely grateful to my wife for buying me this this will take pride of place on the wall of steel books and it will be a showstopper people will turn their heads to see this case itself I'm just not sure about the price it was originally sold for well thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and leave me any comments tell me what you think actually did you buy this for 69.99 did you do it last but not least the hellboy right hand of doom ceramic bank it is august's giveaway prize over on my instagram page that's what you get that's my one this is a brand new one in a box that some lucky winner is going to receive at the end of august to enter all you need to do is go over to my Instagram page at Odinsonant, find the post with this beautiful picture on it, follow the rules set on that post and get yourself entered in. It's a really nice piece, you'll get it sent to you for free, meaning I'll even pay your postage. And it makes a nice addition to any collector's set, even if you're not a Hellboy fan. Easy like to identify. And who doesn't need change? So get yourself entered in. Good luck. I will be drawing the winner on Tuesday, the 25th of August, if I remember it right. Get yourself entered in. Thank you for watching. My next video will be a gaming collector's edition. And once Return of the Jedi gets through my letterbox, I'll be doing a video right away on that beauty. I cannot believe the reception I've got so far on the Empire Strikes Back video. I'm, I think it's 91 views at the time of recording this. Uh, half past six on a Tuesday afternoon um, it's done really well I'm really I'm really happy with you so thank you everybody for watching thank you for subscribing and continuing to like my videos and supporting me it means the absolute world yeah I'll see you on the next video